Hi everyone, welcome to um, April's Blends Club. Can't believe we're in April already. Um, but yes, this is our Blends Club for April and it's based around the stamp set Freer's Bird because I know quite a lot of you have got that stamp set so I thought it would work well for you. Um, and also it's just a really lovely stamp set to work with your blends on and we can do a couple of different things with them. So that's the stamp set it's based on uh, but that doesn't come in your blends pack. What comes in your blends pack, you'll have... Um, a meter of this lacy ribbon okay so you'll have a whole meter of that and then you'll have four blends you'll have a light pumpkin pie a dark petal pink you'll have a dark so saffron and you'll have a light soft suede okay so they're lovely colors together are they? So those are the colours that I wanted to use uh, and the free as a bird papers and everything match, match with it beautifully. So you'll in envelope one you'll get um, a die cut label, piece of whisper white, don't lose this, this is your tiny tiny um, embellishment from free as a bird embellishments, a uh, piece of so saffron, some DSP, a uh, soft suede layer, you'll also get a whisper white that's for your inside okay inside of your card and you'll get a so saffron base all right so that's what you'll get in the first envelope and then in the second envelope you'll get um, another one of these elements from um, free as a bird you'll get another one of these labels and you'll get a matching a nesting label in pool party all right and then you'll get a piece of dsp Oops, you won't get that. A um, piece of DSP, you'll get um, an in, inner layer and you'll get a card base of soft suede. All right, so that's what you've got in all of your packs. So now I'm going to get on and show you the um, what we're going to do as technique. So the first thing I wanted to show you um, was about stamping without using Memento. We've done it once or twice, but not particularly... Um, in depth shall we say so I'm going to put that to one side and I'm going to use my soft suede and my bird single bird let's move these let's move these out of the way for a second okay and I'm going to put my big bird in soft suede right down onto my label facing that away like so Okay, now we know that this is a water-based ink, but it isn't Memento. And we know that Memento is specifically designed to work with our blends um, so that it doesn't bleed or run, etc. These are water-based inks and you can use them with your, uh, with your blends, but it will give a slightly fuzzy look because it will bleed slightly. Not much, just slightly. So... I'm going to go in with my light per pumpkin and just brush that all the way over down his feathers under his tail and just brush it where the lines are to show that it's a little darker. I'm going to go straight in with my soft suede and do a little bit more in that same area and even on the feathers make him like a little brown bird and you will start to see that it will start to just slightly bleed in with the lines but it doesn't really matter it just gives him a softened look and it's quite nice for a bird to be a softened look so we can go back in and do a bit more You start to see him really kind of just sort of it's it's not even it's just a blurring that's the word I'm looking for a blurring of the lines of the bird and then I'm finishing him off with uh, petal pink now if you didn't want this look of course you can use memento but I just wanted to show you that sometimes a soft look is a good look and sometimes you're okay to have that softer look. I'm 
then use your other end just to smooth out those edges there and then of course his beak is yellow obviously not that they are necessarily in real life i have to say but there you go um, and then we're going to just add some so saffron so he's standing on something like so so what i did on the other on my one i've done here's one i prepared earlier was i actually went round him in light pumpkin as well but i actually don't like that how it's turned out i mean it's okay but i think he looks better without the line around the outside of him so i'm going to leave this one without and now we're going to move on and do this bit because um that's what we're aiming towards but i wanted to obviously this is vanilla ribbon but this is white cardstock so i wanted to change it up so grab a piece of grid paper which you know grid paper is your friend with blends you can see how much it came through on the other side of that all right so i'm sorry about the lines we'll get rid of those as soon as we can but you need your grid paper or something to protect your surface and you're going to take your um, fat end of your blend and you're going to run it along your ribbon and then cover all the ex extra bits like all the fancy lacy bits and just be very light and gentle how you do it because you don't want to damage your blend tip okay so if you go on and start scrubbing it it's going to damage your blend but this is a great way of making any light coloured ribbon match the card that you're doing that's cool huh so that's how you do that and you keep going and you do half of your ribbon like that so i thought i would change it up a bit and do it in so saffron so i've done a couple of these bits with so saffron one is slightly darker than the other but i don't think it matters when it's on here use the lighter end of it so there's no point in trying to stick lace straight onto your card base like that because it's just it's just not going to work so you need to trim it down a little and then you're going to attach it to the back so you're going to put your snail all the way down both ends where you want it to be make sure that you rub off any that sits on your desk right and then lay it on your card the way you want it to be and just tuck oh i need to put my light on that's better <laughs> sorry i'm in the dark i forgot to put my light back on just tuck that end in and then pull so it goes along the edge of the card as you wish it to go as you want it to and then just tuck the other end in just make sure it's not sticking over do the same on the other side this side's darker there we go and then down the bottom like so. there we go and then you've got a nice lacy trim which you then glue to your dsp and that then holds that ribbon in place nicely from the back do you see what i mean so it's a good tip if you're doing lace because there's nothing worse than glue showing through lace so then we pop that oh that should have gone on the i should have stuck the dsp down first rats 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 lift that off <laughs> oh dear i don't know why i'm making a mess of it today let's do this there we go i forgot it went across both sides uh, never mind there we go that's easily fixed like so pop that down and then pop this down edge to edge there we go so it goes edge to edge guys okay <laughs> just remember that and i haven't done it quite centrally i've deliberately done it a little bit down okay that's just me 
so now that's on and yeah pretty straight good now we're going to attach our bird and for this one I did uh, dimensionals across the middle and at the top because it's lace it's not particularly heavy so it won't particularly hold your um, push your bird out there we go you know sometimes if you try and stick something over really thick ribbon it kind of just t tilts the end whereas this won't see so be fine and I put him in sort of in the center like so uh, and then I stamped the sentiment hello in soft suede again which where's my sentiment I didn't get the sentiment out me to do that there we go I stamped him and then I popped him through the classic label punch but in a quite specific way so I stamped him quite close to this end because I wanted a shorter end here so hello like that is he straight no not quite there we go and then I fed this end back in through here and chopped him off about there-ish I think just have enough room to put your little bow on like that and then he's going to sit there with a little bow on top and that then leaves this little bit where I stamped my flower again in soft suede and again I coloured him in mainly I have to say in the in the um, yellow so saffron it's a pretty colour then I went in with pumpkin pie just for the centres and again it sort of bleeds a little bit but it's um, it's cute it's sort of it's that just that soft and then I cut that out by hand and I used a little glue dot to attach my bow to my hello and then use dimensionals and then obviously popped it on my card base so when it's finished it looked like this except that this one I had used the soft suede ribbon and that one I used the so saffron ribbon it's up to you you've got the blends you can do whatever colors you like but he sort of he sort of goes well with the background I think so that's the first card done and then obviously you do your inner and I did a little stamped um, I stamped a little flower here and did that for my inner like this so again very simple but just nice to have something on the inside then for the second card this one takes a little bit more for the second card I decided I was going to um, go with uh, memento again just because I wanted a, a bit more crisp look on this card because it's got the black on the feathers um, it I think it needed just a bit more crispness to it so here you're going to ink up your birds really nicely with your memento make sure it's nice and shiny and you're going to position them oops they just sort of fit nicely if this flower hangs off one edge sort of like that okay give them a nice stamp there see that works perfectly and then I coloured these in lots of pumpkin pie, a bit of so saffron, and then I did the flowers in the petal pink. So these little guys I thought were going to look really good with pumpkin pretty much all the way on the dark side. The feathers on his wings, tummy, tail, just lots of nice colouring in remembering not to go too far towards the edges because it will it could bleed out so just make sure we don't want any bleeding out birds <laughs> definitely not um and then a, a sweep of your yellow 
just to give him some cover and then back in the yellow beak and back in to blend that yellow in. And he's a corker, isn't he? So cute. So cute with that pumpkin. Then you can add a bit more darkness in if you want to. Oops. Oh, no. Don't take your end off again. Keep doing that. <laughs> Something in the way I undo my blends. There we go. Just keep going with the pumpkin, adding a little darker in. And then back in with your yellow. He's so cute. Okay, and then for the flowers, I literally just did them in pink, petal pink. And I didn't do the leaves at all. Obviously, if you have a green at home, you know the pack didn't come with a green so i didn't use green because you don't have it so i thought well it's more sensible not to use it if you don't have it if you do have it of course you can add your flowers uh old olive or something like that would work really nicely granny apple might be a little bit bright just saying but old olive would work and then for the trunk i went along using the shorter the stubbier end you know your pencil um, nib end rather than your brush end just follow the line of the branch first off so first off we're just following the line and out to the ends okay and then we're going to go back in and start adding some depth of color into those areas where it's got those lines you know it needs a little bit more on that little knobbly bit down there okay check that you've got all the branches okay. oh mr flower always good to go back and just make sure you've got all of your elements because they do balance it the, you know the picture's been drawn that way for a reason excellent so then you go in and you do all your birds the same as i did and then it looks like this and then to put it together we're going to glue this straight on here but we're going to glue it so it's got a nice even border here because we're going to chop this end off okay <gasps> dramatic i know so dramatic okay so glue it all to to start off with just glue it all make sure it's all on and glued well you give yourself a nice even border like so up a bit there we go so all those dots make your eyes go a bit funny sometimes uh, then we'll glue down our cardstock uh, and our paper so our paper is going to go just straight on i felt it was busy enough it didn't need another layer it just looks good flat against the soft suede make sure you've got your front edge yep pop that down so it's not i think it's nice that these feathers have got sort of some soft suede some pumpkins i mean actually calypso coral but i like the the pumpkin with it and it looks good okay so now we're going to pop that on and we're going to work out where we're going to chop it off so I want it to align with the edge of my actual card. So I'm going to get a pencil and just sort of mark there and there. Okay. And then I'm going to use my little chopper, trimmer. And just position that mark and that mark if they're not straight that's because I haven't put it straight and then this is going to be quite hard because you're going to go through two I'll bring it down through two layers but just go with it nice and firm there we go and you can tell it's chopped off evenly because it's a nice even layer around it 
and so that's going to sit just actually could sit on that it looks better on that doesn't it like that so that's going to go up on dimensionals and then I've cut a piece of this uh, ribbon again I've done this one in uh, so saffron but you could change it up if you wished and I'm just going to tuck that like that I'm going to add a sentiment which I've pre-cut out by hand somewhere she says so I want we're the best of friends to come along like so okay then we're going to put the flower at the end which I've just again fussy cut out stamped and fussy cut out and the little um, leafy bits are going to come under here like that so that all needs to be just cut and popped into place and then that'll be this one done too so using a glue dot to attach the ribbon and then a big dimensional for the flower, a glue dot for the little brass trinket thing. Uh, and then here I just cut this out by hand and used mini dimensionals underneath to position that. And that sort of covers up some of those flower uh, leaves that are not um, green, so it makes them a little less obvious. And then we're going to use dimensionals to stick this on so it's, it's raised. So pop that across there. So with these two cards, you can see the difference between using um, soft suede ink, which is our, one of our classic ink pads, and Memento for colouring with the blends. And then you can decide which, which you prefer. Now, if you leave the soft suede a little bit to dry, um, then it won't, it, it doesn't bleed quite so much. So that's always a good tip too, if you want to use a colour on colour then just leave it to dry a little bit before you start and it will bleed less. Um, but I think it looks quite nice actually with the softer tone of the of the bird. Oh and then this is your inner foot in there so I'll just stamp a flower again and colour that in. But yeah so you can see very crisp, very very crisp colouring um, edges rather and then a much softer feel for this one um, that I put the, uh, this one I put the edge on, whereas this one I didn't. And I definitely think it's still soft, but I think it's less blurry with that edge. That edge makes it look more blurry. So the choice is yours. You can have more blurry, less blurry or very, very crisp. All right, so that covers our April Blends Club and um, I'd love to see your creations. Pop them up on Crafty Corner because, you know, it's nice for people to see what they can do with blends. And uh, yeah, I think these are quite cool. And um, then next month we have May and I haven't decided what we're going to use in May yet. Um, so I will have to have a think about that now that I finish that one. And we will come back and yeah, in May we'll... we'll We'll pick something else. I'm not sure what, but we'll do something else in May. Uh, and then we're back to a year. So then it's on to it. Then that's that's pretty much it. Our whole series is is, is done. Unless, of course, they um, launch some new colours in the new catalogue. So we'll have to wait and see for that. Uh, I'll find out at the end of this month. So I will keep you informed. All right, lovely. Thanks ever so much for joining me. Pip Tobman for QueenPipCards.com. And this is April's Blends Club. Thanks very much. Cheers. Take care. Bye.